Today's episode of Podski Outdoors comes to you trout fishing here during the fall months. As you can see, there are leaves on top of the water. The trees are slowly starting to change color. The water is much lower than it normally is in the springtime when most of us do our trout fishing, which means you can still catch fish the same way you always do. However, if you change up those techniques just a little bit, by change up we mean drop down your hook size, okay? Use one egg instead of two or three eggs. Use a single salmon egg hook instead of a big treble hook. And drop your line down to four or two pound test. You're gonna catch more trout. All right, so we're, we're gonna hit this hole here. We're staying up top. Go ahead, Big Mike. We're staying up top because the water is so low and clear right now that we're afraid if we go any closer, that we're gonna spook these fish. So there's the bobber. Ooh, first cast, look at that, first cast. See what happens when you stay off the trout? Now we saw some other holes below here where there were people standing right on them and not catching anything. So instead, go So instead, we're staying off these trout. on him. Hurry. You. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we're trying to fish a hole that's basically way down there, okay? But this water is so low and clear. That, ooh, Big Mike's got one already. We're staying on top of it so the fish don't see us. You know, if we go a little bit closer, going to be tough to get these fish to bite because this water is so clear that they're going to see us and uh, they're going to be a little gun shy. So that's already three trout in three casts. And I think I see a big old beaver down there. Look at that. See the beaver going across right there? I hope the beaver doesn't get all the trout because uh, we're doing some fishing too. Big Mike is still fighting this beautiful fish. Look at that chunk. Solid. Yes. That We're gonna see if we can see that bobber go down. It's super shallow down there. These fish are sitting in a small, small pocket. We just gotta stay up here or we're gonna spook them instantly. Got him! Look at that. So you can now see how far that bobber was down there and how far we're actually fishing. But it's the keys. Low water, stay off those fish. Is it another rainbow? Not too, too bad. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some key tactics of fishing low, clear water, you know. As you've seen today, a lot of these fish were pulled up in a little bit of pools, and uh, you know, we stayed off the bank, that's the main thing. You don't want that vibration real close to the water. We stayed up above them, drifted down to them, you know, and the key today, an ultralight rod, little reel, two pound test, you know. And like I said, two pound test, so they couldn't see your line, you know, they weren't real line shy. Small bobber. Not a big blunk on top of the water, and like I said, standing above them, letting it drift down to them was the key, you know. Just a couple split shots, just to keep that bobber up and down. And then I stopped about 18 inches away from a size 12 hook here. You know, going down a little bit smaller, one egg presentation. Three key eggs we used today were a little bit of pink shrimp. Green garlic and good old silver label. As you see, that jar is a little empty. We use a lot of those. And uh, like I said, putting a single egg on a small hook, drifting it down to them, has been the key today to catch these fish. 
Big Mike just said, as soon as it hit the water, shows you how good eggs work, especially when you stay off the trout. You know, we could easily go stand right down there on those rocks, you'd spook every one of these fish, we probably wouldn't get any bites. So instead, moved up here and let the bobber do the work. Another pretty rainbow, five fish, five casts. Any questions? Standing on top of these fish sometimes will get them all spooked up and you won't catch them. You know, standing up above the hole and letting it drift down to them, you know, has been the key. A little bit more of a natural presentation. Would you just take a look at this fish here? All with beautiful fins, colored up a little bit. Hey, can't be any happier, you know. Like I said, standing on top of fish sometimes just isn't a good idea. Let's send them home. Hey, there he goes. We'll go hang out with his other buddies down there in that lower hole and maybe you can come back and catch them. This afternoon's quick episode of Potsky Outdoors came to you from Trout Country. Now we're out here on a stream that is low and clear. And by low and clear, I mean it's like one of the lowest we've ever seen it. This is a stock stream. However, they haven't stocked the stream in several months. Simply because, you know, trout stocking is over. A lot of the water is just doesn't have enough flow to support uh, large numbers of stock trout. However, that doesn't mean trout season is over. Now you'll find that when water gets low and clear, you got to do a couple of things. One you got to downsize your line. Okay, two, four pound test, that's all you need. All right, really small split shots. If you're anywhere bigger than a water gremlin, BB split shot, you're going too big. Another thing to consider, hook size. Size 10, size 12, size 14, that's all you need, folks. You come out here with a size six, it's too big. Now, we came out here today with three different eggs. You know, we used colors that weren't as bold as maybe our red eggs, you know? We use the chartreuse, garlic salmon eggs we use the pink shrimp salmon eggs and i guess i lied we did use silver label salmon eggs now we didn't use as many silver as we did with the other colors however we caught a few fish on those eggs as well now when water is low and clear like it is now you have to retreat to several areas look for pools look for overhanging cut banks and also look for little runs where basically the water is deep enough to support trout do that and you'll catch a ton of fish in a short amount of time today, just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.